Do you know those really cheesy posters uh, with the rowers and it says teamwork? And you know this? Yeah. So here's the problem is if all of our language and all of our metaphor about uh, teamwork is we all have to be pulling in the same direction, then when I go in and say you need to learn how to have, have good conflict, what people are thinking in their minds is, well, that's not pulling in the same direction. That's not being a good team player. So I'm trying to convince people to take down those posters <laughs> and stop, right, stop with that. And so I was looking for this metaphor instead, and I tell this story in the speech that's so stupid and people love it, um, that comes from my husband and I taking our kids camping years ago. And there's this huge rainstorm, and uh, we decide we're, we need to go get a tarp, like a really big tarp that's gonna cover the tent and the picnic table and the car, and maybe even all the way to the washroom. If we can get a tent that big, it would be perfect. But when we get into Aurelia, um, the only tarp is only slightly bigger than the tent. So we have to kind of pull this tarp out as big as we can and try and cover it so that the tent is protected. And so I always ask people, so were we a team? And they say, yeah. I say, okay, were we pulling in the same direction? And they go, no. I'm like, aha! So it's possible to be a team and not be pulling in the same direction. And then I tell them the true story, poor Craig, every time I'm telling the story when Craig is with me, he always has to, he goes, I am not the hero of this story. I'm like, I'm sorry. Because he actually, at the time, was opposite um, Mac, who was five at the time. And he's pulling his corner of the tarp so hard, he sends her flying into the mud. <laughs> so when I tell this story, I say, this happens on your team too, doesn't it? Somebody pulls so hard on their robe that somebody else gets hurt. And the whole, <laughs> God, so funny. He actually, once she stood back up, he did the same thing again, but this time ripped the grommet right out of the corner of the tarp. And so people start laughing because when you say, this happens on your team, doesn't it? Somebody is yanking too hard on that rope and the whole thing is getting off target. Your decisions are off target. They're really skewed to the way the sales guy thinks or to the way, and, and usually in a company, there's one function that has the most power and they always kind of, in the banks, it's always risk, right? They'll laugh if you say, oh, I know it's risk. They have the big rope, don't they? And, and people will laugh. Um, the other funny thing was once we got that kind of sorted out, diagonal to me was Kira, who at the time was nine, and she just got fed up. And she's like, forget this. I'm done. Rolls her eyes and let's go. While three of us are pulling super hard on the other corners. So that whole corner of the tarp flies up and leaves the whole side of the tent exposed. And I always say, that happens on your team too, doesn't it? Somebody gives up, somebody's tired of fighting, somebody doesn't have as loud a voice, somebody is from a function that doesn't have the same clout, and they let go and they leave the organization exposed. So it's a totally stupid story and I'm embarrassed every time I tell it, people freaking love it. So the workshop, what we do is we actually give them a picture of a tarp and at their tables, we say, okay, draw the tarp for this company. What are all the ropes? Right? What are the ropes? And for each function, um, what's the unique value that function is bringing to the conversation? What, what are they pulling on? What's the stakeholder group they're thinking about that nobody else is thinking about? And, and what's the tension they, they need to put on every decision to make sure you make a great decision? And we have them map around it. And they just love it, because as they go, they're like, oh my god, no wonder it feels so horrible. Your job is like exactly the opposite of mine. Oh, you mean you're not a jerk? And there's a lot of like, oh, I just thought you were a jerk, <laughs> those <laughs> hilarious moments. And when we say, you know, that person's not being a jerk, they're actually living up to their obligation. Because if they let go of that rope, nobody else is pulling that rope.